Hello and welcome to Does It Do, the program where we test the efficacy of the products that you see advertised on social media, the internet, and television to determine what we here call the WWH. The what, the why, and the how does it do. My name is Jeff Ramsey, and with me, as always, Gavin Free. Welcome, Hello. Gavin. Hello. You, you're nailing it so far. Okay, that's good. Now, we are employees in the R&D research and development uh, department at Unifarm. Unifarm, combining the power of one with the fabric of the farm. Part of our job is to evaluate the products that are introduced into the market by our peers. As you know, Gavin and I, we invent a lot of, uh, a lot of products to make the little things a little bit easier in your life, as well as making some of the big things easier too. And uh, part of doing that is to look at what some of our peers and competitors are doing and determine what they get right and what they get wrong. I hate sewing, Jeff. <laughs> all right. Don't we all? I agree. I, and by the way, Gavin, love the enthusiasm. <laughs> I have a feeling, I have a feeling you felt that. Not one of those fold outs, huh? <laughs> Real table. Yeah, well, you know, we don't screw around here on, on Does It Do. This is the Bell & Howell No Stitch Handheld Heat Iron. And I'm glad that we have this product here with us today because uh, as you mentioned earlier, Gavin, you hate sewing. There you go. Uh, hopefully with the No Stitch, sewing will be a thing of the past. This thing purports to adjust hems, repair seams, and fix tears. Works on any fabric, Gavin, from heavy denim to delicate silk. We're talking denim, cotton, linen, rayon, nylon, corduroy, wool, polyester, acrylic, and silk. Those are all the different kinds of fabric on earth, I believe. Uh, and this thing says it can handle all of them. We're going to find out, does it do that or not? We'll make it do. We'll make it do something. And if it doesn't, it goes on the pile of don't. All right, Gavin, let's crack this, this puppy open. No, oh, that's secretly formulated. <laughs> Once that's gone, don't breathe that. Once that's gone, <laughs> the tool is useless. So uh, the first thing it says it does, and I think the biggest thing, is it fixes tears, right? So let's see if it fixes a tear. We've already got one. OK, you know what? Here's a great. Does it do art? <laughs> Do we? Here's, here's a great idea, Gavin. I can already see it. You're losing it. This isn't a tear per se, but it could be seen as a hem. Let's see if we can hem Gavin's Does It Do logo to say, does do. <laughs> now you, do you, hold, this, you hold this right here, yeah. put a little bit there, put a little bit there, and then we'll see if we can change Does It Do to Does Do. Then I'm gonna grab the preheated no stitch. And now according to this, all we have oh. to do is press hard and hold. You feeling the heat? No. Uh, I oh. do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh. <laughs> Doing something. It, definitely, it, might, it might need some double action. Yeah, it definitely seems like it's, I mean, it definitely says, it used to say does do. That's pretty hem. Well. It doesn't take a lot to unhim. I'm gonna say that's an inconclusive him. Uh, how about this? Let's try it with this. Let's say you have Gavin. Let's say you have two. Uh, what are you these like tea towels? A tea towel. But what tea if it, what if you wanted a picnic blanket? Right, a picnic blanket. That's a great idea. Let's see if we can hem together. Uh, what did you call it? A picnic towel? <laughs> no. <laughs> a picnic blanket? Yeah. yeah okay. What, what do you put down on, on a on a nice picnic? I, well, I like to hem two tea towels together. Yeah. <laughs> Here, hold that. What was that? <laughs> Someone almost died. Here we go, quick guide. Just want to ah. make sure we're doing it properly. Uh, if we're going to evaluate, it says squeeze bottle onto dispense glue powder evenly. We did that. Fold material. Yeah, we did that. Uh, brush off excess material. Eh. What are, we, what are we afraid to get an extra glued? Uh, press the plate over the air for 30 seconds. Move to the next section for 30 seconds. We just need to make sure. Oh, and then we need to wait four minutes. Oh. So just give it, give it a good 30 seconds in all the spots. Why are you touching me? What? We might be able to tug of war these apart. 
I think we probably... Well, I mean, let's... To be fair to Bell and Howell, we're pretty strong. I think we might be stronger than the average towel tugger. Let's see, Gavin. Did it... Did it do... Oh, no! <laughs> Don't breathe that, that's glue. Don't breathe the glue in. <laughs> Look at I that. I gotta say, I gotta say, it, uh, it definitely. Where are you going? What is this? There's no light. Yeah. This feels like a picnic. Yeah. Well, I don't think it did the first one, but I think it did this one. Let's see if it does the next thing it purports to. What if we had an argument and we wanted to split into two separate picnics? Let's do that behind the table, though. Yeah. yeah. I disagree with the way you run a picnic. <laughs> Where's the hummus? I'm going, I'm taking my, I'm taking my tea towel. I'm going over there. See ya. Jesus. <laughs> it's really stuck. It, all right. What? This the <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say this is all my weight, and then that was enough. <laughs> it, with with less than five minutes of a fixing, uh, a fixing, uh, it almost held the entire weight of a British man, <laughs> which is less than the weight of an American man. But I got still, some melt dust in my beard. I have to admit that that felt pretty. That felt pretty good. One other thing it says that it does is that it fixes tears. Ooh. <sighs> oh no! <laughs> so you've got a hole in your shirt now. Let's see if we can repair that. Excellent, that's exactly what we need. I got a gut flap. I don't want you oh, to get shit. in trouble. I don't want you, I don't wanna hurt you. So I got an ironing board. Yeah, there we go. So now we just need to a thick, you just, you're doing great. You stand yeah. still. You know what? Gravity's gonna fuck us here. Hold on a second. Do me a favor, Gav. Go ahead. Yeah, there you go. Appreciate that. That's exactly what I was thinking. All right. <laughs> don't, don't, don't breathe this part. You don't want that. <laughs> it's gonna cause a... Do you know what mesothelioma is? Is that your penis? Oh. <laughs> Did you just ask if my penis was mesothelioma? No, I... Here, hold this with your right hand. You're right-handed. Okay. You just hold it still. No. I, I don't, I'll, I'll deal with the other stuff. Oh. <laughs> There's a good place to... <laughs> I don't know where a good place to put my hand is. So, uh, how have things been going at home? I was cleaning some cat piss off, uh, off the carpet. You deal with a lot of cat pee? Yeah, but, uh, pretty much anywhere that... Maybe that's a direction we could get into at Unifarm. Unifarm, combining the power of one with the fabric of the farm. Unifarm. Cat pee removal. It's really difficult to get up. Yeah, well, it's stinky too, right? I might do Oh, yeah. You're, no, you're doing great. This is going to work. Better. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that was... Sorry. I was enthusiastic like you were earlier. Yeah, it better work, right? <laughs> I'm put a little more that was such down. a shot that I'm sweating now. <laughs> we are providing a public service <laughs> to every patron of the internet, <laughs> television, and social media. Anybody who's ever thought about buying a product that seemed too good to be true, well, now we'll find out. Was it too good to be true, or does it do? Am I not in the right spot? Not even close. Uh. <laughs> no, you're not even. You're just burning your shirt at this point. We're supposed to be. Uh, determining uh, the efficacy of products to see if we could uh, glean insights from them. My first insight right now is I feel like there is a need for a portable chest-held ironing board. Like I'm sensing that this right, this part right, we cut this off right here. Oh, oh we cut this off right here, just like uh -huh. right there. Would you maybe form it a little? I think maybe I think we separate it and have a lap one. We could have a lap one. We could have a lap one if you want to do lap ironing. Here, I'm gonna take this from you. Let's see if it did. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Have you made it two holes? <laughs> Boy, that's hot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's perfect. 
It's like it was never there. You can't even see. All right, well, then we had some sloppy work here and there. But you look right here. You can't even tell that this was cut and then re-affixed. I got to go. I got to say, so far, I think this thing does what it says it does. It does. But let's not, let's not be, let's not, you know, let's not rest on our laurels. Just because it does what it does doesn't mean that it doesn't also do other things. We like have here a... Uh, fry an egg. Yeah, we don't have any eggs. But what we do have is some old baseball cards. Uh, well, these are called Rad Dudes. I remember if you, you were, you, these were real popular. You liked these. <laughs> All right, here's Hurt and Harry. He's a workouter and totally buff Tina. Since they both like to work out, what if we glued them together? Like, does it work on more than just fabric? That's what I want to know. Once you, yeah, once you, 30 seconds. You got to press hard. I turn mine off. <laughs> well, turn it back on. Okay. Oh, my Lord. Not only are they stuck together, it didn't damage the card at all. We made a super card. Now, I'm not saying that you should be an unsavory, unscrupulous individual. But let's say you got some, a hold of some baseball cards. You, uh, you open them up. You got the card you wanted out of it. Maybe you just want to put that pack back together and sell it to some unsuspecting person who doesn't realize you already got the chase card. You got the uh, Hurt and Harry, totally buff Tina, one of one combo card. So now we'll just close this back up. And by the way, if this works with Rad Dude's cards, if this works with Junk Wax, this is going to work with mail. This is going to work with your neighbor's mail. You want to know what's going on in your neighbor's life? You want to know what they've got going on? You want to know, how did they afford that new truck? What, what's the car payment on that thing? That's ridiculous. Maybe uh, pop on over to their mailbox when they're out to the store, grab some of their mail. You can open it right up. And then uh, I'm going to guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Closes right back up, just like that. It's like a brand new. They would never know. None the wiser. Tell me there's a difference. Well, it, it won't be hot forever. That's pretty good. Well, uh, I would say that not only does it do what it purports to do, it does a whole lot else as well. So this is going to be the first item we put in our Hall of Do. Oh. We'll superimpose that in too. Uh, Now, Gavin, you and I have to get to work on a, uh, on a laptop uh, ironing board. So we'll see you next time. We're Jeff and Gavin, and we're very excited for you to check out our new show, Does It Do?, where we determine if the products you see on television or the internet or social media actually do. You want to know what's going on in your neighbor's life? What they oh, say no. they're going to do. Let's see if we can clean the babe up. <laughs> Tune in, because it's going to be fun. I broke my ass. <laughs>